President Obama stepped into British politics during his visit to London on Friday, taking sides in an intensifying debate by urging the UK to remain in the European Union. Britons go to the polls on June 23rd to vote in a referendum on their country's membership in the bloc. Recent polls show a virtual dead heat between the stay and the leave campaigns. Mr. Obama made his feelings clear on the issue by writing an article in the UK's Daily Telegraph on Friday. He wrote, The European Union doesn't moderate British influence, it magnifies it. A strong Europe is not a threat to Britain's global leadership, it enhances Britain's global leadership. U.S. leaders usually steer clear of intruding on foreign elections, but British Prime Minister David Cameron welcomes the help. I believe we should listen to advice from friends and other countries, and I struggle to find the leader of any friendly country who thinks we should uh, leave. Others see it as meddling. London Mayor Boris Johnson has branded Obama a hypocrite, while UKIP leader Nigel Farage thinks the president should, quote, butt out. Yes, I'd rather he stayed in Washington, frankly, if that's what he's going to do. I mean, come on, you know, you wouldn't expect the British Prime Minister to intervene in your presidential election. You wouldn't expect the British Prime Minister to endorse one candidate or another. And nor he thinks it's a good thing for you. Well, perhaps he's another one of those people who doesn't really understand what it is. Mr. Obama arrived in London late Thursday, his second stop on a three-leg tour that included meetings in Saudi Arabia and ends with a stop in Germany. He has scheduled talks on Friday with Mr. Cameron, as well as plans for a private lunch with Queen Elizabeth and dinner with Prince William, his wife Catherine and Prince Harry.